windows open and listen to music and had good times rolling. And they love singing with the radio. Singing with the radio. Let's bring that back. Ramapo 90.3 on the FM dial. While streaming online, you'll find WRPR is by the people for the people. And let's bring back singing with the radio. Singing with the radio. You're listening to WRPR Mawa. Now that's a face for radio. Hi, this is Ozzy Osbourne. For many years, you know I've had a drink problem and I'm trying to battle it every <laughs> single day. But one thing I don't do, I don't drive my car when I'm drinking. I get someone to drive me. Do not drink and drive. It's the stupidest thing. If you drink, just don't drive. Not only are you going to hurt yourself, you may hurt some other person, and you wouldn't want that on your conscience, would you? A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters, and the Ad Council. This is Dominic Rogers Cromartie, and you're listening to the Beast of the East on 90.3 FM. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Obviously, I'm still trying to work out the case of all these sound bites. Oh, Dominique Rogers Kamadi. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's a big pickup. We got him, and um, I'm not going to tell you. I'll just... Yeah, yeah, don't do that. I'll just play them later. Uh-huh. But clearly, I'm working out the kinks. You are. I heard you got Odell. Is that, is that just a rumor? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a big rumor. That's false. <laughs> that would definitely be the start. Like, I would start... I, I don't know. Oh, of course. Rogers Kamadi's sick, though. He's a big player. It's Odell oh, yeah. Beckham. <laughs> that was Odell. He just said Rogers Kamadi. Like, okay. he, he, he doesn't want to let people know that he's part of our show. Yeah, when you sent when you sent that to me, when you guys were at the event and I was in the gym, and you sent that to me, I, it got me pumped. I was like, oh wow. You were just but, banging oh. out three plates after plates, that. Plates, 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 plates on plates on plates. <laughs> Dean finally got the forty fives on both sides. Wow. Kid hasn't been in the gym George since two thousand three. George doesn't even have two twenty fives on plates <laughs> on plates on on each side. Wow, that's rough, man. It's all right. Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, this got awkward. So, speaking of Odell Beckham Jr., have you talked about this yet? Because yeah, you were here I, Monday I, and Tuesday. Was I here Monday? You were here yesterday. I was here yesterday because I had to get on here. And, right. I, and I, yeah, I shared my piece about uh, Odell. Odell? Yeah. We'll talk about Gino and Ryan Fitzpatrick because Fitzpatrick got benched. George, real quick, are you happy about it or no? Absolutely. Uh, okay, so oh, right. it's, it's, real quick, we said real quick. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Uh, thanks for the input, George. Yeah, thanks, man. So, Odell Beckham Jr., comeback game of the year, eight catches, 222 yards, two touchdowns on Sunday. And at the end of the day, I know I'm going to sound like the old guy on the lawn, but me and George absolutely 100% agree on this. And I wish Scott was here because he and I feel so oh. differently about this. We feel so differently about this. But I'm going to sound like the old man, but Odell Beckham Jr., as good as he is, as he was the MVP of that game on Sunday, he still gave the Giants a chance to lose that game by getting that 15-yard penalty and we say it time and time again, he is a me guy. But Sunday honestly took it really over the top for me. Yeah. Once he scores that touchdown, he's li- trying to let everyone know I scored that touchdown. Not the Giants just took the lead and saved the season, but I scored a touchdown. Takes off his helmet as soon as the play is over. Automatic flag. Runs to the sideline and proposes to the kicking net. It it, it has it has to stop. Mm-hmm. I understand that he was the most valuable player on Sunday. I understand that the Giants won because of him. It has to stop. 
Totally agree. And I, I was furious when I saw that. And I mean, I got pumped because, like you said, it was yeah. a breakout game. And to uh, to have that 66-yard touchdown uh, run, it was just amazing. But he acted like the time expired, like as if it was a walk-off home run, right. a buzzer beater, something like that. No, you mm-hmm. still had, uh, I think, what was it, like 55 seconds? No, it was more than no, that. no, it was, it was like a minute. A minute plus, yeah, like a minute, like 20. Yeah, right yeah, under the minute 20. It wound up only being an eight-yard penalty anyway, but that's because, yeah, regardless right. of that, but still. But what if the guy, the kickoff returner, takes it to the 50? Yeah, yeah. Lose? I wish that happened. I really so, do. And here's the thing. I like how you said that because we were pumped in that room. Yes. And then as soon as that happens, I, I sat right back down. And I just said, why did you do that? I, 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 Odell I made it. I, I was down here with Odell. And then he brought it back up to here. And then in the span of two seconds, not even, he brought it right back down. Mm-hmm. I, and, and it's it's so hard to root for him. He makes it so hard to root for him. And, and I get it. We're all 21 years old in this room. We understand that young guys will do these celebrations. And you know what? Those celebrations are targeting us and younger. Mm-hmm. The old fans are, are hooked already. Fans 30 and above, 40 and above, they'll watch football. It doesn't matter anymore. The NFL is aiming for the younger fan, and that's what they like. Yeah. And uh, I consider us to be younger fans. We're younger than the than ninety nine percent of professional football players. Yeah. But uh, we still are younger than most of the guys in the NFL. But uh, enough with this all about me. And I was telling Scott, and I think I was telling you too. He wants to make himself known. He doesn't make. He's made himself known. What more does he have to market toward himself? One good catch. One good catch. The guy could have had, God forbid, a career-ending injury. He still would have been famous. He would be making money 50 years from now from one catch. He doesn't have to market himself anymore. What is with this me attitude? I understand that you are probably the most gifted receiver in the National Football League. But you don't have to let everyone know that you are the man. I like this phrase. When you're good, people will tell you you're... No, it's when you're good, you will tell people you're good. When you're great, people will tell you. Mm. I don't necessarily follow that all the time, but I think it's just a good pers- way of putting things into perspective. Oh, LeBron's never said anything about how good he is. Yeah, ever. He knows how good he is. He knows he's literally. A and top the only three the only ever. thing he'll say the only thing he'll say is I, I want to chase Jordan. I want, mm-hmm. but he'll never say. I'm, I'm the reason. Than them. He'll right. Never he'll never. He'll never say he's better than them. He'll never say that he was a reason why they won. Even though it blatantly is. Even I, though it blatantly is, exactly. I think Odell's mindset is, I'm so good and I did so much for this team that I can do what I want and this 15-yard penalty doesn't matter. And, and that's the thing. And you know what bothers me so much? The fact that three weeks ago, when he was not putting up stats, quote, I'm not having fun anymore. He wasn't having fun because the Giants won. He was having fun because he went off. And what's funny is that I, I was talking to a lot of people about this. So you don't like when Antonio Brown twerks in the end zone. You don't like when Golden Tate celebrates with the cheerleaders. I like that. Why? Because it's not hurting my team. It's not hurting my fantasy team. Right, like, I don't like Antonio Brown can do whatever the hell he wants. It doesn't affect me. And you know what? If Antonio Brown does that on December... I'm, I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. But if Antonio Brown does that on December 4th when the Giants go to Pittsburgh, I'll say thanks. <laughs> the fact that he... Propose to the net, like okay, get get yeah, get, get over, over yeah. yourself, norm, get over the net. It's a norm, he's, 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 next touchdown, he's gonna make penalty. love to it. Literally, <laughs> like just celebrate with your teammates. They walk over to him, like I think his teammates hate him. I really do. No teammate goes up to him. I know on the sideline, he walks around by himself. Except like, maybe Cruz, Shepard, Eli. They have to. It's like an almost like they have to thing. If he wasn't so good, everyone would hate him. But he is. He literally is so good. He's so good. He's amazing. He and, should get the ball so much more. And that's why I, I'm starting to hate. I mean, I, I already hate New York fans as it is. But three weeks ago, this guy was a disgrace to football. He ma- he, he makes a meme out of one meme. And then he, he's loved again. Do you see his, his last th- His last yeah. three touchdowns, he has done something with the kicking net. Do you see his Instagram? Get over it. Everything is about him on his Instagram. Like... If people he read, actually did post about Eli Manning the other day. Mm-hmm. But like, mo- all right, so nine out of ten things on his Instagram yeah, or something yeah. about him or like how just he's playing not devil's having advocate, fun right. or like yeah, 
like how he's not motivated or how he's like no one's gonna take him down. Like it's it's all about him. It, it's so annoying at this point. It, it's it's fun at first, but then when you get to the point where you actually hurt your team yeah. and get a personal foul called on you. Was... Let's say he did get a personal foul earlier on in the game. That would have been an ejection. Like, but he but he doesn't he just doesn't get it. He wants to market himself so badly. He loves the camera. I get it. Cameras are always around him. Twenty five ca- cameras. Do you see what he's were, proposing? They oh. acted like, like Barack, wall. they acted like the president just got off of Air Force <laughs> One in the middle of a parking lot. <laughs> Yeah, it was. You're right. But they just feed him and feed him and feed him, and he's not going to say no. The guy loves he it. He loves it. He loves it. But uh, it's it, it gets to the point where if you are hurting your team, that's the issue. Right. Like like I said, the net stuff is just stupid. I think. But it if it doesn't so... draw a penalty, I wouldn't. Care yeah. Okay. Exactly. And this is where the Golden Tate thing comes in. Celebrating with the cheerleaders. You know what? If Odell did that, I would be a little angry. Does he put his team in jeopardy? No. That's what it comes down to. Every time Odell is all about me, all about me, getting into fights with cornerbacks and stuff like that, that is all about me and in turn puts his team in jeopardy. The net thing is an all about me thing too. But it doesn't put his team in jeopardy. And right, that, so it's not a big deal. Right. But it's all about him. That's all I'm saying. And, and, and it's still annoying. It, again, he doesn't have to market himself anymore. He markets himself every Sunday. What do we see on NFL Twitter? This catch didn't count. But wow, Odell Beckham Jr., good catch. They they tweet like catches the ball. They down. tweet his they pregame, t- his pregame. They tweet his pregame ritual. They cool. they tweet. <laughs> they I swear, really I swear, they tweeted a video of him making a catch out of bounds, and it said, "This didn't count." But wow, what other marketing do you have to do? He doesn't have to do anything, but he still does it because he's all about himself. But you know what? The Giants aren't going to say anything. Especially when he has 222 receiving yards and two touchdowns and saves your season. And I get it. I'm not mad that the Giants lost. Are you kidding me? That saved their season. They would be heading into London 2-4 and four with a realistic chance to lose and go 2-5 and five to the bye week. Now they're 3-3. Three and three. I'm happy about it. But again, Odell, real quickly, his feelings from me got me back up to here. And in less than a second and a half, it went right back down. As soon as I saw the helmet, I was furious. But that... That um, run and that whole sequence was literally the definition of him. He's a great athlete, super skilled. You saw he so outran fast. four oh, guys. He and why, does he have to, why does he have to piece out the cornerback? Yeah, that too. Well, it's start, that's, what I'm, that's what I was going to say too. He started celebrating. Yeah, I, yeah. I he should have gotten a personal foul for yeah, Tony. I thought it was going to And then he should have gotten a personal foul for doing the triple. The, the, he could have yeah. gotten ejected on one play. That, yeah, it's just, it's just it, that literally. It, it, described him it, it is him he, he has the skills and but as soon as it gets to where he's gonna know he's gonna score he starts celebrating right he's so celebrated before before he yeah. even got one, in the end zone one day one day it's gonna come back to bite him i it literally Desha- said, look at Deshaun jackson with 17 seconds he, he's fumbled the ball the one yard line they were at before. the 25 mm-hmm. yard line with 17 seconds and no one was covering mike wallace Cla- oh flacco if so he completes that, that pass up. they have the ball at the five yard line with 12 seconds left, and four, three, four chances to score, and the Giants lose easily. Devil's advocate, agree with you 100%, and I know exactly, I'm going to play devil's advocate again. Let's say the Giants do let up a touchdown there. What kind of show are we having today? Giants defense is terrible, or Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, cost them the game? He's getting Odell. Odell cost them the game. I, w- I would think that if we were on a national show, for the most part, it would be pre- I think it would be 50-50. But you know what? Those eight yards matter. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe right. not to Joe Flacco, who can watch right. the ball He's from exposed. anywhere. But. Well, that's the thing, too. I was like, this isn't another quarterback. This is Joe. He's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. I, he get he's okay, very launch. Yes, he has a great arm. Knee. That's why I was <laughs> yeah. even more mad because he has a good arm and he saw his throw. He made it to the end zone that throw and at the last play, which was knocked down. I was actually surprised to be honest that Giants actually knocked that down. I thought something was going to happen, like someone was just going to come away with it. That would have been so Giants. But yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. He but so Jess. That too. <laughs> so New York. So New York. So <laughs> New York football. 201-825-1234 is the number. Please call in with your thoughts. 201-825-1234. Oh, I wish Scott was here because we all agree on this, but Scott... He's, dis- you know, but Scott's mind, like, thought process is, 
I just rather have him and with the penalties than someone else, which is completely true. I would too, but why do you need the penalty? Right. It's just not necessary. And why does Odell have a problem with keeping his helmet on? He gets hurt. He loves to show his, his face. Helmet off. He loves to show his he face. He loves to show his face. He takes his helmet off all the time. It's not just this time. He loves like to show. No, yeah. He plays. loves to show yeah. his he face. Loves to show. He, he only, wants his face in that. And he doesn't get flags all, all the you time. Need, too. The only people that you know the faces of usually are quarterbacks. Quarterbacks, quarterbacks are the big yeah. faces. You usually if you. Pro, you can't say like what a line a lineman's yeah, face looks I was, like. I was at the right, Giants like event. The, I was at the Giants event the other night. Didn't recognize that. Didn't one. recognize one person. <laughs> see, didn't recognize one some, person. Ex- a whole except helmet. let's see, you know, Kareem McKenzie. Know, I, I recognize yeah, because of why? Because he has that signature hair. He has yep, the he has the beard going on. Yep, exactly. Dude, who did I recognize? I recognized DRC, barely. Joe Herzlik. Like, um, uh, yeah, well, I kind of knew her. Kind of recognized him. Um, Kareem McKenzie, obviously. Oh, yeah. He's... Uh, I did recognize Landon Collins. I see, Cassi- I don't think Cassi- I would. Landon Collins I don't think, yeah, I don't think I would. Casillas I didn't recognize. I wouldn't. Paul, mm. uh, not Paul Perkins. Um, Bobby Ron Kennard, I did not recognize. Is Bobby Rainey there? Bobby Rainey Your was boys? there. probably, like, at most 10 people I'd recognize on the Giants. Let's see. Uh, Eli, Odell, Cruz. Cruz. I'd recognize John Brown. I think I would want... Yeah, legitimately, I'd recognize John Brown, the kicker. Yeah, I think you know, I'd maybe. At this point, yeah. They always show the kicker. Yeah. Sterling Shepard, I think I probably would at this point. Really? I think I'd walk past him. I'd, 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 DRC, you'd that? recognize. DRC, right? you'd recognize. Maybe Jen- Jenkins, you'd recognize. Ma- uh, I don't know what's face Doesn't Jenkins have dreads? JPP. JPP, obviously. But that's just because long... Jenkins has dreads, right? Jenkins has your so I recognize Jenkins. Yeah, oh, yeah, true. you would love Vernon. I, well, I, I've... My was he there? Vernon also. No, he wasn't there. But, but uh, again... Maybe why, why does he have a problem taking off his helmet? Because he, he wants, wants to, to be known. Yes. He wants people to walk up I in the street and yell, one, Odell, Odell, Odell. You can, you can easily do that Which he already when has. you get to the sideline. Just wait. What's what's? He can't. He, 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 can't. he, he, I know. he can't. All he you have can't. to do is literally, you wait, you run, you do your thing, you propose, blah, blah, blah. As soon as you get to the sideline, you take it off. And propose, did, did, any, did crowd, anyone whatever. see what he did at, right after the touchdown? He was walking to, he was running to the sideline, and he yelled at someone. I was, it was no, either a ref or someone on the Ravens. He got right, he, he didn't get in their face, but he yelled at them as he was running toward their bench. And then he goes and proposes to the kick net in front of millions of cameras. I'm gonna I'll defend him in one standpoint. It's a lot like especially like you said, breakout game. That was a lot of motion. And he's been saying, you know, it, like yeah, we said you're, before, you're right. When he gets the you're ball, right. I, I that's what he says. Well, that's why I think he, well he says you get me the ball, we're going to win this game. So right there, touchdown big, uh, touchdown pass big, wins the game ultimately. So that's just a lot of emotion. But he's, uh, we've said it week after week, got to have to control it. What's the difference between taking off your helmet when you just score or just going to the sideline, which is it, it's not that far. It's not that far. And no one's going to forget about the touchdown. And, and, I'm so, <laughs> and I'm so sick of people saying it's passion. You're, you're right. You're right. Uh, people who are saying it is passion are 100%. You can show passion without being immature. Yeah. That is my biggest thing. That's I, why uh, in baseball, I'm not a fan of Bryce Harper. I'm not a fan of Josh Donaldson. I've become less of a, a fan of Manny Machado. You can show passion all day. Just don't be a <clears throat> diva about it. That turns, and then, In my opinion, it turns into emotion. Because when you have passion, right. you, lo- you respect the and game. And then it turns into a me game. thing. Right. It turns it's into emotion. It's all about me. Yeah. Yes. A hundred percent. Tell me him and Dez aren't so alike. Dez, see, Dez they're is younger. Def- Dez I think is younger, I think the they're, same they're different in the sense. Dez is more of like, but has your fault, your fault, your fault. Uh, yeah. Odell's like, kind of. It's me. Give the ball to me. I think Dez your fault. You're not giving to me more than Odell. I think Dez cares. Dez more. cares more about his team than Odell does. And and I can and I can prove you right by saying this. He doesn't get the targets that he deserves. Right. He on the sidelines, Des is hurt. You see him the last two weeks. He's clapping. He's so happy. Like yeah. Elliot comes off, he daps him up. Like yeah, he loves it. I, I mean, I'm sure it's not like if Odell were hurt, he'd be sitting on the sidelines like, oh, I wish I was playing today. But uh, I mean, that's true. We haven't seen. But, him. I actually wonder. I actually wonder what would happen. And, and of, of course, the guy doesn't want to go out there and lose a football game. I'm sure if the, I'm sure if yeah, that no, day no. happened, and, and the Giants still lost, you know, he's probably a little upset that they lost. Of course. No one wants to go out there and lose. Yeah. But would Odell be complaining that much if 
uh, he had this game and they lost. Like That's last week, right? Wasn't last week? Well, actually, he had a great game. He had a good game. More so against the right. Uh, no, uh, this is the best he game. He only had fifty six yards. You oh yeah, definitely. The best game he's ever had. Definitely. What today? This game. The last game. Eight catches. That's like a most. He's is ever it? Had, I think the yards is the most he's ever had in two touchdowns. Well, the yards was the second most by a giant ever. Yeah, the uh, yards is the most. He's ever I think had. his career touchdown, career high in touchdowns is three. Right. I think he had one three game. I think he had one Maybe three. Against the Rams. <laughs> the Rams no was one. two years ago. How many did he have against the Dolphins? New Orleans. New Orleans. Didn't, he, didn't he have a bunch in, against New Orleans? He definitely had, he had three against New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. yeah. That's that, it. Yeah, like, New Orleans he's home is so good. That's so weird. Yeah, that's it. What? What did you say? He said the Saints did so good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, and oh, those are that good. He's so good. But th- th- it's just so annoying. Mm, uh, it and is. and I, I get you like the camera. I get you want the fans to love you. I get that you want to succeed. And you know what? If I had that God-given talent, then who knows? Maybe I might do the same thing. But I can guarantee you, if I were in that position, there was no way that I would put my team in jeopardy. 625 here in Mawa, New Jersey. Beast of the East on WRPR 90.3 FM. Geno Smith in at quarterback. Fitzpatrick Benz after making himself quite the payday. We'll talk about it right here on Beast of the East on WRPR 90.3 FM. Hey, this is Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers for Rap. I'm here to remind you that drunk drivers are still a major killer of young adults in this country. So always choose a designated driver. And remember, music lives, you should too. Getting on in the state of Mississippi. Papa was a copper and the mama was a hippie. A public service message brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters, and the Ad Council. Hi, this is Ozzy Osbourne. For many years, you know I've had a drink problem, and I'm I'm trying to battle that problem every single day. But one thing I don't do, I don't drive my car when I'm drinking. I get someone to drive me. Do not drink and drive. It's the stupidest thing. If you drink, just don't drive. Not only are you going to hurt yourself, you may hurt some other person, and you wouldn't want that on your conscience, would you? A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters, and the Ad Council. This is Jonathan Casillas from the New York Giants, and you're listening to Beast of the East on WRPR 90.3 FM. I did it! <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank you. Was, I'm surprised. I'm really, that was nice. I'm really excited right uh, now. Is that the only two? We you got guys more. want me to do a take soon? Oh, I have more. No What's way. That? You guys want me to do a take soon? Or... No, we're fine, George. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you to not. <laughs> I'll take that 20. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is with all Giants. Uh, how many more do I have? I, I have. I'm waiting for the. This is Ben McAdoo, and uh, you're listening to. <laughs> I, I, I have two more. This is George Hunkley, receiver from the Intramural Champs. Oh, great. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Wide receiver, might be, quarterback. Might be, might be quarterback soon. Hey, oh, let's. No. Oh, no! Brandon, if you're listening, we gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> and realistically, he's not listening. Realistically. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy what do you mean, realistically, he's not listening. I don't, I don't know. He's in the library. Yeah, that's what I meant. Me and, oh, okay, okay, okay. Me and Dean are oh, like, maybe he has we're running like the Notre Dame system. Dean gets all the yards to get us there, and then I come in like inside. That's literally it. Red first Red watching first this game, play, he scrambles into the end zone, I which was actually a smart. No, I know he no, did not He do said that he was going to do that. No, I literally did We were going to take so many people were open. It's not really. No, no, no I, I know I wasn't. No, we were going to take. Open, open. Everyone had like space. Like you could have went to. I could have yeah. No, but uh, uh, like uh, I know your plan wasn't to scramble into that the end zone. But no, but you as, you, as you as you were crossing the end zone, you started laughing because you knew everyone was going to say really something. Was, like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you were so. That was funny. I didn't even do it for <laughs> So we had a quarterback change today. The Jets had a quarterback change on Monday. Wow. And it looks like that will continue for quite some time. Ryan Fitzpatrick on the bench, Geno Smith in. Fitzpatrick is now the number two. Right. So Bryce Petty's still the three. And I've seen a lot of people say that Bryce Petty should start. I don't think I'm with that just I'm yet. Not. You have to be statistically eliminated from the playoffs to play him. Until you are now here's okay. Until you uh, have like seven or eight losses, he does not play. All right, now here's my question. They're not statistically eliminated yet. Why is Geno Smith in? I think that's the right move. I think he's the best. You think it is the right move? I think okay. That the way Fitz is playing right now, Geno Smith is the right person to play. 
And I think the reason Fitz looked good is because of Decker. Like I keep saying, Decker hurts so much, no one even realizes. Okay, so now when Gino plays poorly. He'll have his turnovers. I mean, he throws good balls. I actually have, I don't know why. I could not tell you why. I've watched this guy play. I've never been happier to see a quarterback come in the game for the Jets. And for whatever reason, I think with Brandon Marshall, I think he's going to have a pretty, like, decent to good year. Even without Eric Decker. Yes, I think he's going to have a, because he's never had anyone. Yeah, but, but okay, but but you said before, Eric Decker, big loss. But but for Fitz, Geno's had no one ever. That's true. I hope that's random. Let's go to the phone lines. Real, oh, someone hung up. There you go. <laughs> nice. Uh, all, all you hear is just the, uh, <laughs> Try next time. Call um, in, please. 201-825-1234. That's 201-825-1234. That is a good point, though. Geno literally has had never had anyone. Anyone. Mm. He was on a bad team. But, but but does it really matter, though, when... Is there much of a difference in skill set between these two guys? Yes. Skill set? Yes. Skill set, skill set okay. Gino Talent. Far better. Skill Talent. set, yes. The Talent. way they play on the field... I think knowledge. I think I think Fitzpatrick is a very smart guy. So, so, okay, so, 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 so can play. You know he can play. He can. He, he looked good when he came. Games that don't matter. Yes, I agree. I agree. But now, yeah, if Gino play. plays poorly, when are people going to call for Bryce Petty to take when the corner? Eliminated, and if he plays poorly, that won't be far away. So it will work out. So is it? Is it? You're not going to get back Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick's done. No, he's done for the season. I think that once you pull him, I he's agree. done. And if you, you wouldn't put him back in, you play Petty or someone else if they're eliminated. If I think Gino's going to look like a hero because now they got through that six-game stretch of the ridiculous teams. Now they play Ravens, average team. They play at the, Cleveland, the Rams, average team, and they play the Browns and and no the Dolphins too. And the, the, yeah, well, th- these three games are before their bye week. There's the next. And they then come they back. Bye. They come so, back and they face uh, the Patriots. Uh, right, but so in the next three games, Gino's going like two and one or three and zero. Oh, I think. And he's going to look like, oh so God, what, like Gino Smith. Okay, so why did they bring out Fitzpatrick? Bring, what do you mean? Play it poorly. Okay, but, 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 yes. but they have an easy schedule these next one, two, three, four yeah. games. He actually just sucks. I, I personally thought he was way better than Geno Smith, but he's a journeyman for a reason, and I see why now. That's that's my opinion. So, I, you, so even though that they have an easy schedule, it, it doesn't matter at this point? I... I, I I literally, I actually think that Geno Smith is the better option to play. Uh, I mean, uh, That's um, really what I, I, I I'm just trying to get conversation. So I, I, I agree, though, because they, they just lost five games in a row. But they didn't lose by a touchdown. They scored three points. Yeah. They can't score. Exactly. They can't score. We'll try the phone lines one more time right here on Beasts of the East. Who is this? So where are you calling from? This is uh, Matt, New Brunswick. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hello, um, I know, um, I know Scott's with Geno Smith. But I, I, I missed your take. Who, who did you think the Jets should have went with from this week on? From this week on? Yeah. Uh, I think you have to go Geno. I, I think that, again, the Jets have a tough schedule, but they don't have, quote-unquote, good losses. All of these losses, they're not playing well. Ryan Fitzpatrick does not have a touchdown in the second half. He hasn't thrown a touchdown in two weeks. Three weeks, actually. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, in my opinion, I stick with Smith another week. I forget who said it, but I liked the whole put him out there this week, and if he didn't have a good game and didn't get a W, then you go to Geno Smith. But the reason you go to Geno Smith is nobody's talked about it. This is his last season under contract. So you try not to let him walk out the door if he has some talent. But at the same time, I mean, I can't really buy into the fact that he's never had any talent around him. I can't I mean he's had Eric Decker. The only he had, had Eric uh, Decker as his number one receiver, Matt. Yes, but he was terrible. Geno Smith was never good. Not even close to good. His 8-8 eight eight year, he was terrible. What do you have, 27 touchdowns, 33 interceptions on his career? It's not even like, well, he was average and he didn't have any talent. He was god-awful, and he is god-awful. I don't care if he was prepared or not. He went into a Monday night game and fumbled and then threw a pick in consecutive plays. He's the worst. But you so also... I, but, okay, Why not go to Bryce Petty? Because Bryce Petty, it, 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 talk about a guy who's not ready. Bryce Petty's not ready, in my opinion. I don't think he is. I, th- I think Gino is the better option. And you know what? Here's my argument to you now. And you're probably going to say it doesn't matter. But remember, what year was it? 
was it 2014 when, when Gino went off the last four weeks of the year? I get yeah. that they were statistically eliminated, but were those four games an accident? You probably think they were. I personally don't think they were. Well, we all know that Gino Smith has some talent, right? He's got the arm talent. Mm-hmm. He's got some mobility. But, I mean, if you look at Fitzpatrick last year, last year Fitzpatrick wasn't an accident. But he's got none of those things. Was he, was he not an accident? He had Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker both fully healthy. Yeah. And George just said he's been a journeyman for, for his entire career. That's not an accident. So have a lot of quarterbacks. Unless you're a franchise quarterback, you're a journeyman quarterback. That's true, and the Jets haven't had a franchise quarterback in a long time. And thanks for the phone call, Matt. We'll talk to you yep. later. But but you say that Geno's bad. I, I understand. I agree that he's not a phenomenal quarterback. But I will buy into the fact that he's never had anyone. His best receiver was Eric Decker for one year. That season, can we As talk a, about how Eric Decker played at max 10 games? He literally was hurt. He's De- Eric Decker's always hurt. He sits all the time. It's. Did you see that thing about how he could miss next season too? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 There's a possibility he could miss next season. You know what? I, I was. I said this last night. I think actually Matt like touched upon it from yesterday. I said that because this was before we even got the actual official news. And I said, well, you look at this the schedule you got going on before your bye week, and this is a this could be a good transition period for either quarterback. You can say, all right, Fitz, listen. We gotta play the Ravens. They're a good team. Are they a top tier team like we've been playing? No. You better get back on track or you're done. If he doesn't get back on track, you bring in Gino. Gino gets to play the Browns, or he, he goes into that Baltimore game, and then he gets to play the Browns. Uh who's at the Browns? What? Who's at the Browns? I it's, think it's, Dolphins and then add Dolphins and then home against LA. Home against LA and then your bye week. Then you can invest in Gino for the rest of the year. They should go. Three and one in those games based off roster talent. They should win at least three of those. The Browns, if they the Browns even come <clears> close to beating us, I'm not watching anymore. But you don't know where you're gonna get out of Gino. I know he has the I know he has the arm and he looked good. I, I liked what he how he looked in the Arizona game, even though Tyron Matthew made an insane interception. Yeah. I liked no, what that, I saw. That was a great play. That yeah, great I play. liked what I saw that out of him. Fourth down, he had to throw the ball somewhere. No, I, yeah, no, but right. even, no, but there was more that, 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 yeah. that pick that was wasn't on Gino. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even on Gino. Right. So, like, that was a good promise. I know it was only for a drive or whatever. So, you're looking ahead, and now, if you, you, you invest in Gino for the rest of the season, if he doesn't work out, and there's, a, realistically, if he doesn't work out, the Jets are going to be out of contention. Yeah, at worst, you give them to the bye. And by the bye, you know if you're out of contention Exactly. Or not, so, so that being said, if if you don't want him to keep going, you can bring in Bryce Petty. Right. You're not going back to Fitzpatrick. Why, why, go, why go back to him? Right. If you don't go 3-1 and one before the bye, then you play Petty. Yeah. And, and, and let's go over the, the first thing you said also. This is Geno Smith's last year. I didn't even realize that. Actually. Ryan Fitzpatrick, this is, he signed a one-year deal. This season just pretty much ruined the rest of his career. No, no team is going to want him. No, 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 no team even wanted him anyway, except I, for the Jets. And the Jets are done with him now. The Jets are done with him now. No, no team. Fitzpatrick was the. The Jets were the only team Fitzpatrick spoke with the right. entire offseason. I was like, why doesn't Denver want him? And like, why don't these teams want him? Like, he's better than Mark yes. Sanchez. I like, thought. I thought Fitzpatrick was going to go to Denver. Yeah, there is a I reason thought it was Denver why. Jets. If Jets weren't going to get him, I thought Denver there's was a reason him. why, and now I see why. Yeah, I didn't see it before because literally he had a great season last year. Yeah, uh, I was a full on advocate mm-hmm. of too. Ryan Fitzpatrick needed to resign with the Jets. Yeah, oh, I was yeah. a full on advocate. And, and it, honestly, if and you weren't, shame. if you weren't an advocate, because based on available quarter, I'm not saying they right. should have traded for Drew Brees. Available <laughs> That's quarterback, not a thing. exactly. You have to be realistic. It's like, it's like firing and hiring coaches. Oh, the, the, the Colts should fire Chuck Pagano. I would love to see them get a guy like, uh, insert person who's hired. <laughs> They're hired. You're not going to get them. Sorry. like That's, that's not going to happen. Yankee fans say it all the time. I would love to have a guy like Terry Francona. Oh, okay. Well, Terry that's Francona is probably going to win manager of the year with the Cleveland Indians, and he's going to sign a deal for another five or six more years. Be it. realistic Ooh. here. Oh, is that that's not a B, is it? I think so. <laughs> that better not be. That's fine. All we see is bees in the soccer press box. It's oh. awful, actually. I killed like four or five in the water. Ten to fifteen and they're coming back. in the press box. Yeah, that's, that's all scary. 
That's all me. No, well, some of them were on our side, so can't be all of you. Uh, uh, give him the credit. <laughs> yeah, right? No, it was all you. B killer. B killer. That's me. Sorry. Um, but, again, this is Geno's last last year in the contract. Every team in the NFL now knows what, fi- what Ryan Fitzpatrick is. If the Jets... Excuse me. If Geno Smith winds out somehow going on a run, not saying they make a playoff run, but let's say the Jets finish this year 6-10. and 10. Yeah. That means they would go 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games, which is absolutely reasonable with this schedule. Absolutely reasonable. Six and ten. And Either let, win out or lose out. Don't do both. But he, that's true. He, he, the other thing, too. Well, you can't do both. You can't win out and lose out. That's that's impressive. That would, yeah, Jets. Of, so Jets. That would be so Jets. If they so won out Jets. and lost it. <laughs> uh, but I was saying, you, like you said, they're both on one uh, last year of their contracts. What if they both don't do well? You well, have you're you're not gonna re-sign guys who didn't do well for you. Then you gotta look and into now, the draft. And, my opinion and is, you bet, or you or you have to try to trade for someone, and maybe those unrealistic fantasies will work out. Or you gotta train Bryce. I think it has to be trade, quick though. I think you if you find someone you like, you trade for the number one pick and pick them. I think that's the most successful way to get a quarterback. And I think that's are there any good. quarterbacks available this year? Um. Well, there I is. don't know. Uh, what's the name for Clemson? I don't know why I can't remember. Sean Watson, right? But I don't. I personally don't like Watson. There's the kid from Notre Dame, who's pretty good, and then there's there's one other good quarterback. Can't remember his name. But there are like some that. Oh, those are like wait, the main not three. Jackson. Lamar Jackson, Jackson is a sophomore. Oh, it's, it's solid. It's like from USC or something like that. It's like one of those standard offense quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Don't draft a USC quarterback. Don't trust it. They already did that. So. Right. They did already do that. You're but right. then again, like, you look at this team, though. Like, if you bring in the... Like, oh, you don't... They just don't have many options anyway, regardless, because you're not going to... There's no one... No, Not a big-time quarterback who's going to be on the free agency. That, that I can think of. Nope. And, and, you, think of and usually you don't see that. You really don't see that. Like, like yeah, like uh, Drew Brees, Brady, Rod, they're not going to be on the they free agents. Yeah, 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 they're going to get their money, whatever. So... But you look, if you bring in a Petty or even um, Hackenberg, even though I think that would be a terrible idea. Hackenberg should literally just be cut. Yeah, please. Never that's should have been drafted. Yeah, that was... um, but you look at the team they have around them. You have a Forte, seasoned veterans, and you're going to throw in a rookie quarterback with them? Like, is that like, that doesn't seem good to me. Let's, all right, let's, look at, let's look at the quarterbacks that are available. Right now? After this year. Okay. Ooh. Are they, but I love these. even say if they're restricted? I guarantee the good ones are restricted. Um, every quarterback ones. is actually unrestricted. Ooh. Interesting. Who is it? Every quarterback on this list is, unre- is unrestricted. Who Kirk is? Cousins. Wow, get him. Interesting. No, terrible. I think he's playing well enough at this point to the point where the Redskins will re-sign him. Yes. I agree. So, I think you have to assume Kirk Cousins will be back. Right. Because yeah. they literally have no one else. Case Keenum. <laughs> Sean Hill. <laughs> BJ Manuel. <laughs> Matt McGloin. No. Who? Don't know. <laughs> Blaine Gabbert. No. Not. Blaine Gabbert. Matt Castle. Hey. No. Mark Sanchez. <laughs> Bring him back. No. <laughs> Ryan Hoyer. Mike Glennon. Do not go through the list. You Honestly, guys get the well, point. Other than Cousins, Hoyer is probably the best one on there. You think Jets want to like open tryout for fans? Stop. I would definitely go. And we, I we should both go. Do yeah. the tool. Oh, yeah. the we're going to we're, we're 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 try it as a team. It's Pan. <laughs> Two M's. Oh, are you saying Pan? Denum. Denum. There's a B on. There's a D on the end. There's no D. It's Pan. <laughs> That'd be funny. Geno Smith in at quarterback for the New York Jets. I think we all collectively agree that it is the right move. Correct. Yes. You know. You know what I was talking about with someone though. Speaking of drafting a quarterback. Go ahead. What you know, like the most important thing is obviously finding a franchise quarterback. Right. Like if you have Tom Brady, it doesn't matter who's around him. Realistically, like they're making the playoffs with Tom Brady. Yeah. Man. Unless their team's absolutely awful. That's been in the question. Right. Just saying. But, the so, whole system. Is right. a system Russell Wilson, third round guy. Andy Dalton, pretty good second round guy. Multiple more guys like that. What if you drafted a quarterback with your first three picks or first four picks every round? You drafted a quarterback. What do you mean? You drafted a Every year? quarterback? No, just one year. First round, second round, third round, and fourth round. You drafted four quarterbacks. What would be the significance of that? At least one of them will end up being good, possibly. That's ridiculous. Or they could all be bad. Like Right, but like statistically okay. speaking, one of them will end up good. Good argument. Math major. Counter argument. 
You just wasted three dra- three draft picks. Yeah, easily. Right. You just wasted a year. But fourth rounders a lot of time end up getting cut. So you just wasted but, a pick. Like, you'd rather you see what That's these. But you're saying. Exactly. Okay, but for the top two picks in the draft, do you see what these teams give up? They give up more than that. They give up a first rounder, another first rounder, a second rounder. Well, like, like, honestly, would you like if the Jets that did that happen. next year? Would you be like, oh, that's a good draft, it's a good draft? No, never. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think though the Jets are actually praying that Geno Smith plays well because I do think that if Geno Smith does play well, and let's say the Jets do finish this season six and ten, maybe even seven and nine. Seven and six, yeah. All right, yeah, no, nice, yeah. man. But, but but let's say they God, these next God. ten games they finish over five hundred, which is definitely realistic. Again, with that schedule, because they can realistically. Uh, l- right, let's look at it. The they, only game that they can't win is at New England. Every other game, they literally have a shot. At and they're probably going to split against New England. Right. What? Home against the Ravens. I'm going to say they win this one. At Cleveland, I'll give them a win also. At Miami, I'll give them that win. Rams, not sure. Patriots, they're going to split. Colts, I'll give them the win. Niners, I'll give them the win. Miami, I'll, I'll give them the win. I know that's being very, very... What's the word I'm looking for? So I said, no, Generous? It means, means oh. positive. Oper- optimistic? Optimistic, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, welcome. You got it. Thank you, I should <laughs> say. But there, there are one, two, three... Why do you guys say, like, they're, they're going to split with New England, like, easy? You're just saying, like, odds. You're just hoping. I, I think you're hoping, and you, you, you have to assume that you at least split with every division, I think. Unless if, it, unless if a team is From really From a bad. roster talent standpoint, the Jets would be favored in every one of those games. Except for... Except both New England games. Except for both New England games. You say that all the time. No, it's the truth, though. There are eight games here like that they can win. If these games were played on paper, the Jets should go, what, 8 and 2? 9 and 1? 8 and 2, yeah. 9 and 1 if you want to give it, it a split paper, to New England? Right. Exactly. Agree. I agree a hundred percent because the Jets are at home. I think that's big. Oh yeah, that's big. Can I interrupt? Yeah, Cleveland Indians are going to World Series. All right. Oh really? Yes. Oh, congratulations to the Cleveland Indians. I'm, so, I'm upset that they lost though. I wanted them to just be undefeated. Cubs oh, down. Oh, that would have been yeah. so cool. Cubs still down in the series. Just saying. Cubs still down in the series. Cleveland and wow, how about Cleveland? Cleveland, this is for you. First time since 1997. Oh yeah, they made it that year. They beat the Yankees in the division series, I think. Yes. And then they beat someone, obviously. Who did they lose to? That They lost to the right. Marlins. Where, in 97? Yes. No way. Yes. Really? It was in the Braves? No? No, the Braves made it in 95. Oh. I, think. I don't know. Is that the year Chipper Jones batted like 400? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But, but uh, going crazy, back to the really? Jets, though, there are oh, yeah, sorry. eight at least eight games where you look at that, and despite how badly that they've been playing on paper, you like their chances. So let's say we'll give them the benefit of the doubt, six and four, at end of the season, because eight and two is just way too generous. Let's say six and four these next ten games, okay. they finish seven and nine, and oh, Geno plays goodness. relatively well. Do the Jets re-sign Geno Smith to a two-year deal? I think, I you, think I think I think you have, have to. to. You have to. It would have to be a one two year max contract. And I don't give him one. I give him a two. You give him a two. Okay. You know, what? rest of the franchise tag also. You the rest of your team. Too. The rest of your team is set anyway. But he does it. He's being grossly overpaid. No one else yes. is going to pay him anything close to that. That's true. You're right, but yeah, you can steal. But, but who are the but who are the Jets losing in free agency? Matt, but imagine imagine this. If anyone, imagine he has a good season. If you don't right? have a franchise quarterback, you move on. Imagine, well, what do you mean? No, I think if you don't have a franchise quarterback, then you have to re-sign Geno Smith to at least oh, a year I, or two. I think if you, if this guy, Geno Smith, you don't think he's going to be your franchise quarterback, he's just going to be an average guy, you got to move on, you're not going to win. You got to I understand people. that, so what but, what, but, there, but, but, but there's no, okay, but there's no one available. That's why I'm saying if Geno Smith plays well, you have to sign into at least a one or two year deal and try to get more trade value because the, the, they have nobody, unless if you want to be really insane and the rumor that's been going around for four years saying the Jets should trade for Drew Brees. It, imagine how bad the Saints would be. Oh, my God. They would be really the, bad. But yeah. the problem is with what you're saying, which is why Geno needs to do good, and this is why Petty should not play until they're eliminated. You look at the age of the good players on the Jets team, they are absolutely in win-now mode. Yeah, they, Their team is in win-now mode. They're not. No one's in rebuilding mode at all. No, no, the no, players are old. They want to win. Forte, Marshall, Revis. They want to win now. Yeah. The thing in rebuilding was the quarterback spot. 
That's what it is. Really. And they thought they had it. Right. Yeah. And everyone was sure that they had it. I, especially at the year he had last year. Yeah, was, I was a big fan of it. So. That Bengals game, they lost on kicking. I can't get over that. That really yeah. kills them. No, uh, 100%. But I, I think that I think the Jets are praying that Geno plays well, A, for obviously the comeback, but B, so they have a quarterback for at least another year. Yeah. At totally. least another year. But, and, and then you know what? I think there are more. There will be more quarterbacks. Let's see, quarterbacks in twenty eighteen. Let's find out. Like free agency. Free agents. Oh, Stafford, Kaepernick, Breeze, Bradford, Foles, Bortles. No, Bortles. Breeze is looking for a four year, hundred million dollar deal right now, so he will not be a free agent. He's going to get an extension. Yeah, he'll be be thirty eight. Yeah, they're still going to pay four years. Four years, hundred mil. That's what he wants. Then maybe the Saints will tra- maybe the Saints will try to trade him. No, they're already talking. They're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> they love him. Either way, there I like are Stafford though. There are a lot. Uh, of course, a lot of these guys can get the franchise tag, which probably. I think. I think Stafford could easily be a, Stafford out there. Pro- Stafford will. Uh, I don't yeah. know. See the thing, they're free agents, but a lot of them will probably get a franchise tag. Quarterbacks get re-signed know, know. the season before. What's that? Like all right, so that's, these guys that that's are free true agents, too. That's true too. Resigned. Next season, no, yeah, this, the this coming of off season. season, right? Exactly, and then they'll get a four-year extension. That's why there aren't any free agent quarterbacks that are good. That's true because they get extensions. Okay, but that's hey, Colin a, Kaepernick. Yeah, hey, Colin Kaepernick, come on, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Geno Smith at the helm for the New York Jets for the time being. We'll take one more break and then we'll be back with something. I don't know. We'll talk about what we're going to talk about. It's a good transition. Thank you. Right here on Beast of the East on WRPR 90.3 FM. 90.3 Random Pub Radio, WRPR Mawa. Grandma Are you sick of DJs who get paid to get songs played off a set list that exists in the money-filled fists of the fat cat? That's old hat. You don't need that. Let's bring back the good tracks with the real cats who you knew knew you and blew you away with the way they could say what they wanted to say every day. Let's bring back the good old days when cruising with the tunes in the afternoons was in and human beings were human beings who loved the simple things, not being rough, tough, or rich enough to buy all that stuff. When people drove with their windows open and listened the music and had good times rolling and they love singing with the radio singing with the radio let's bring that back Ramapo 90.3 on the FM dial while streaming online you'll find WRPR is by the people for the people and let's bring back singing with the radio this is Devon Kadar from the New York Giants and you're listening to Beast of the East on WRPR 90.3 FM I'm good. I could have another, but I probably should not. I got somebody at home. home, home, home. It's been a long night here. 652 here in northern New Jersey. Oh, really quickly. Wow. wow. You right? If I don't say this, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Melissa. I said it first. <laughs> I read the most. See, I was. We were second. I was second. Thanks for tuning in, Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. Sorry. Melissa McCarthy, if you're listening, happy 21st birthday. Uh, don't go out to any bars tonight because I don't feel like getting a call and having to pick you up and carry you out anywhere. Just kidding. That's a joke. We're trying to shed a little light on the situation. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. I'm bad at jokes, guys. Happy birthday. To Melissa, my lovely girlfriend of like three and a half years, something like that. I don't really know anymore. Good stat. <laughs> that good stat, right. yeah, baby. Good stat. Three and a half hours. It doesn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's years, man. Uh, Happy birthday, Melissa. Um, yeah, I'll see you later, I guess. Thanks right. for tuning in. What was that? <laughs> Should I say that? Yeah. <laughs> it's Danny. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Melissa, uh, Melissa, call in. I want to tell you something. If you're listening, call in. I'm not gonna Can we get like what are we doing right now? Uh we're gonna talk about wacky. I don't know. No, we're gonna we're gonna talk wacky about Wednesday. some guy who, another guy, another me guy that we hate. Say it. Cam Newton. <laughs> <laughs> Can I got so your long. tongue? It took what? so long. I don't think he's I, I don't know if he's a me guy. Like 
Oh, I think so. He's a baby. He's a sore loser. He wears he was... number one, so yeah, he is. <laughs> He's the <laughs> biggest sore loser. It's automatic. Loser. Anyone that wears number one. He's, He's the baby. biggest sore loser. What are you looking at me for? Uh, I'm, I'm, I get, I understand that you are upset after a loss, but you know what? This is part of your job. Oh yeah. Your job is not go out there and play football. Your job is to go out there and play football and answer He's questions and and, and 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 you know you said it. He's a role model. What he does with kids and, and community and charitable work and philanthropic work, awesome. Mm -hmm. Good for him. But you know what? When you talk about a team leader on the field and in the locker room, that can't happen. Did I tell you about the play last week? He handed the ball to Jonathan Stewart. So they did the option, yeah. obviously, at like the two or three yard line. He always keeps it. You know that. So he hands it to Stewart. Stewart gets stuffed. You see him like like roll back, like roll his eyes, like kind of like you suck kind of thing. Yeah. Like I should have kept the ball way better. A, he is, but you, right. but you, you can't have that attitude. Mm. You can't go in the locker room after a loss and walk out of a press conference. What kind of team leader is that? And I understand you. the last thing athletes want to do, even after a win, is talk, about the, is talk to the media. NFL players don't like the media. I get it. No athlete ever does. Yeah. But you can't – I'm sorry. That can't happen. And, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, Bill Belichick does the same thing with the media. He doesn't. He really doesn't. He'll, he answers the questions, maybe not the way the media wants him to answer, but the difference between Cam Newton and Peyton Manning did the same thing too. He didn't shake hands at Super Bowl 40 or whatever, but he still answered questions. And the difference between it is the fact that Cam Newton will do every celebration under the sun after he gets a one-yard first down run, but when he gets beat, he can't handle it. That is the thing that bothers me. Go ahead, be upset at the media. Go ahead, give two word answers. I don't care. Just don't act like you are the. I get he's the man, mm -hmm. flat out he's the man, and he knows it too. But don't complain about people complaining about you dancing in the end zone. Don't be this. Oh, you better stop me if you don't want me to dance. Blah blah blah. And then when they do cry and, you. And, then, and then when they and then cry and moan when they beat you right i don't have a problem with his celebrating i more have a problem with the way he acts when the he hypocrisy beats you. right the hypocrisy you can't be a gloating winner and then be a big sore loser like yeah it's literally childish mm -hmm. and like the big th the one of the differences i see in it is his body language usually like, if belichick doesn't um answer questions he's just he's still there like you know he like i i, I have to be here cuz this is my job and whatnot. but then it's, in Cam, the contract, it's like, by it's the like way. Cam's just like looking at you and just like, yo, can you like hurry up? Like, I don't want to get mm -hmm. out of here. Like, rolling his eyes. Yeah. He doesn't want to be there. Hey, but, but you know what? That's okay. But my issue is just him actually leaving the press conference. Yeah. Are you fine for that? Well, I'm sure you well, will. Well, we saw signs but of that last year. Is it, honestly, is it that difficult to talk to? Honest, honestly, I've never done it before. How long is the thing? You, you, you you, you've you've done five it. Five minutes. I think the, the minimum is five minutes. While Sean Lynch used to have a, a timer. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah, see, like that's not. I mean, I know that was like ridiculous too, but he stood there the whole time. He, he was there, he was there for his requirement. Yeah, he, he was there. So he's. I mean, but, I don't know. Marshall, I miss him. I have a qu I have a question. Yes. yes. It's a different subject. Can we change the subject? Uh, it's still football. I guess so. We got two minutes. What's your question? Go ahead. Do you think the Cowboys are locked to win the NFC East? No. Why, is that, why would they be locked? I personally think they're going to easily win 12 or 13 games, and I think it's their division. They're the my league. favorite right now, but I wouldn't say a lock. I wouldn't call it a lock. They, they should be the favorite, though, especially how Dak's playing. Giants, still have, a, Giants, still, Giants have a decent schedule coming up. But, but, but going back to Cam Newton, you just can't be this showboat. You can't be this me, me, me guy, I'm the best, blah, 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 and then you lose and then not be able to take the heat. Don't give the heat and then not be able to take it. Mm -hmm. Super Bowl, the, I gave it a little bit of leeway. That's yeah, too, because of the setup. That's the, the setup Super Bowl. Was, yeah, but that was also the setup. Too. That was all, right. He, that, that, there was like a sheet, and he had to hear questions about the other team. Once, yeah, once I heard that, that that's yeah. when I gave mm -hmm. it. No, that, that understandable, but still not. Still signs though of what he's doing now. Right, it, it, it can't happen. You, you can't just hit the dab every first down that you get. <laughs> no, no, that's the whole thing. Uh, Does he still do it? I don't think so. Yeah. But, but but you can't just be showboating that much Never. and then it, it it it's just simple sore loser. That, it's that's childish. what it is. I it's see. Childish, I it's childish and childish. and you're being a sore loser. I mm -hmm. just if you are that good, 
and you want to be a team leader, no one's going to say anything because the guy is arguably the best quarterback in football. Yep. I personally don't think so, but people... Right you know what? It's like top 10? He's well, been very consistent. Well, this, uh, well, this discussion. Last year, I still yeah, you did. Beast of the East, WRPR 90.3 FM, Marwa. Big thanks to Devon Kennard, uh, Dominic Rogers Camardi, and Jonathan Casillas for coming on the show. We really appreciate it, guys. Uh, anytime you guys want to come on, feel free. You know, um, all day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's talk about it. See you later. So long. Take care, everybody. You ready? Uh, uh, I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this, in a matter of time I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist, see my dreams unfold, nightmares come true, it was time to marry the game. And